Matt and Jamie were together for a year, but they broke up because Matt cheated with Amanda. Oh. Shortly after the breakup, Jamie found out that she was pregnant with Matt's baby. Oh. And she saw her one-year-old daughter acting out sexually. Oh. Now, Jamie needs two answers. One, has Matt molested her daughter? And two, is he the father of her baby? Your ex uh, is accusing you of molesting her child that you were help raising when you were with her, right? Yes. So, so why don't we stand up and we'll talk. Um, um, so, so Jamie's your ex, right? Yes. And how long were you with her for? For about a year. A year. And how was the relationship? It was good. At, it was good at first, but I got tired of the nagging and constant disrespect and the constant lying. Jamie is just cra Jamie is just crazy. You know, crazy, just crazy psycho, and you know, you never, you never know what to expect from her. And when you were with her, how old was her daughter that she's accused you of molesting? She was one. She was one years old. Did you molest her? No. Hell no. Uh, I, no, I have no reason to, I know. Um, so, no, so you broke up with her because you say she was uh, uh, li lying, disrespectful, everything yeah. else. But you, before you broke up, you started sleeping with somebody else, right? Yes, I will, yes, I did. And that's and I, Amanda, who you're now with, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you go off with Amanda, and, and you get Amanda pregnant, right? Yeah. And she has a child with you? Yes. Um, how, when did you find out that Jamie was pregnant? Um, about like a month after. After you were with Amanda? After I was with Amanda, yes. And, and did you think that it's your child? Deep down, no, but I do want to know because I feel, I, I believe, I believe as a man should no child have to grow up without a father. Um, mm. So you break up with uh, Jamie, you're with Amanda. When did you find out that you were being accused of molesting her daughter? Uh, shortly after I was asking her for the DNA test, so she was constantly denying me and then she... Oh, so you were asking her saying, yeah. yeah, I want to know if that child's mine. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know, yeah. And I then, was asking her. And, and then, then that's when she came with that. That's when she came accusing me of the molestation. Do you think she's making the story up? Yes, I do. I think she's making it up because she, want, because she sees how happy I am with Amanda and she apparently wants that back. She wants you back. Yeah. yeah. So you're here today and you took a lie detector test. Uh, obviously... You hope you pass that because yes, that I'm, I'm not past that. There's no reason for me to fail. I have no reason to lie. I'm a grown man. I right. have no reason to lie. Yeah, but grown men lie all the time. Um, mm, not me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, yeah. uh, I wouldn't have a show unless men lie. All right, well, here's your ex, Jamie. You're the only one I left her with. Man, I didn't first leave her with no, anybody no, else. What, you touched her. What kind her. of woman? You are First of all, what kind of woman, what kind of woman you uses her chance as power to try to get a man? I don't want you. BS, you know you're not, you do. I don't you want know, you. then I why are you harassing me? Your daughter was about one at the time when you were with she him. She just turned one. And I uh, understand that she uh, uh, is, uh, she has, dis yes, she she's disabled. disabled, right? Is she able to communicate? No, uh, she just babbles and... The only she time, like, she, she'll, like, signal, like, if she wants her sippy cup, she won't even signal for it. But she can't verbalize. Yes, yeah, she okay. can. Um, when did you think that uh, he ab abused your daughter? When did you... Shortly after I'd moved out because she would clench her legs together and push my hand away as I was trying to change her diaper. And at the time, I didn't know what to look for. No. And I felt bad that I left her. So you didn't, you didn't kind of pick up. Come on. You didn't, not at first. At first. Sobs, man. What made you decide? What what clicked where you said, you know what? I better have you know, the police look at my this. My mom was watching my oldest daughter whenever I was at an OB appointment, pregnant with my second one, and my mom immediately called me and said, "Hey, your daughter grabbed the dog's tail." And then when my mom got her to stop, she had thrusted her hips in a sexual manner. And that's when we immediately, I went to the police. I asked them, hey, it's been this long. It's been about a year. I don't know what to do. Um, what do I need? You guys have been need? broken up that long? Yes. Yeah. It had been almost a year. This yeah. was in June of 2014. Okay. Were there any other males around your daughter yes. after you broke up with him? Just my brother. And I figured that if he did anything to her, it would have happened long before then because I left him alone with her plenty of times before I ever moved in with him. He admits that he cheated on you mm -hmm. with his now fiance. Mm -hmm. That must have hurt you, right? 
it did. Well, I wouldn't have cared if our, our relationship broke up. It's just the way he did it. Because you were still together. Yeah, it's that. And the day he went to cheat on me, he gave both me and my older daughter a kiss and said, I love you both. And then left and went and cheated. Okay. So it's the way he broke up the relationship, not the fact that we broke up. Right. You got pregnant, right? Yes. And you believe that it's, it's Matt's? That or somebody else's because there is a possibility after we'd broken up a week later, I three slept with somebody else. Three other men in line. Actually, Three other one. men in line. No, as far Actually, as I've one. heard, there was three. Okay, but while you were together, were you pregnant? No, not that, well. You weren't sure? I, yeah, I wasn't sure at the time. I found out in and November. And how soon after you broke up did you sleep with somebody? A week later. A week later. So there's a good chance that it yes. could be somebody else's yes. baby, right? Do, who, whose baby do you believe it is? It's one of my ex. See what I mean? But well, see what I mean? Me, when me and him broke up. But, but yet here I am. What, See but, what I mean? But there's Actually, a possibility. Actually, he don't want to take the where's DNA. Where's those that's, other guys well, he at? Did, he did take it's the DNA one. test. Where's no, I'm talking about the other guy. Oh, he other doesn't guy want to take you. a DNA, even though I keep trying to get him to. I've tried for the so whole time. So do you I'm trying to get you to take the DNA. I, you can't deny me. Not, then you come with but this. I do need, yeah, I'm praying he's not, but I do need these results. All right. You haven't seen him since October of 2013? That's when we broke up. I blocked him Until on. Now? Yeah, I blocked him on all social media sites. I don't want nothing to do with him. I don't want to be around him. If he didn't touch my daughter and he is the father of my youngest, yeah, he can be around. That's if perfectly passes, fine. If yes. He passes. As long as he passes. He he can be around. He can see her whenever he wants, however long he wants. That's what you were saying now on social media though. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. <laughs> Jamie, your mom is here. Mm -hmm. Let's bring her out. Oh, I you walking now? She, you yeah, walking I'm now? walking. Yeah, last I time had I my seen you. Transplant. Last yeah. time I seen you, you I barely got out the bed. Yeah, because I was sicker than dog. You were barely out the bed. I was sicker than dog because I yeah, needed you, a liver yeah, transplant. You, yeah, you were barely, barely coming out the bed. What did you see that made you believe that your granddaughter was molested? He, he was watching my grandbaby. He needed to go donate plasma so he can get some money. That was yep. the only way he was living. And he brought her to me. I changed her diaper. Yeah, because I she was She looked funny doing. down on, there. Hold on. Okay. She How looked like she, look... she, was she was messed with. Okay. I asked her that. So what then, did, when you saw that, what did that. you do? I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't believe that I was seeing this. And I didn't want to think that he did that because he was always so polite and nice in our house. But then you didn't and say anything didn't... until a year later. No, it, no. I told her like a couple of months later, it, or no, about a month yeah. later. And then uh, on, see? she switch started it. dealing with it. Right Why now, switch it. Listen, I'm the one switch talking. He came back to pick her up. She went straight into his arms, and she was happy to see him. So I blocked so it out of my mind. But guess what? Put your I daughter, your granddaughter's well being aside. But when she did that with the dog's tail, I knew she was messed with. One for me. It must have been one of the You're other the dogs. You're the only one there. babysitting her. If you really believed that she was uh, assaulted, and you didn't take any action at that time, uh, and yeah, I feel guilty as poor, hell about that. That's a poor decision. Because of what's all happened in my family anyway. Matt came here and we asked him, have you ever sexually molested Jamie's two-year-old daughter? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that Matt did not tell the truth. <laughs> Should all go back out on stage. No, well, you failed a very serious test. I'd go back no. out. You got it, Jim. You got to stay with him. Are you gonna stay with him now? No. We got to take that again. So we gave you the test twice and failed both times. Um, so there'll be no more 
No more retaking on, of the man. test. Not here. Nah. I think the police will be interested in giving you more. Yeah, um, no, no. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. I don't because, even know what to say, yeah. Steve. It's, you've got to be in a very difficult position here. He came in as Prince Charming, and I would never yeah. think that he would do anything like that. Yeah. And that's Come how on, the way he no. acts. Nah. He acted the same way with her. Okay, that's what these men do. Well, they charm you so they can get to your what's children. What scares me? No. 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 We got. But now this DNA uh, test takes on a whole uh, different level of, of meaning here because you might have a child with a child molester. He'll never see her. <laughs> Matt came here, he uh, took a, a DNA test, and the results of that DNA is concerning your youngest child is that Matt is not the father. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I know what you're going to do. You're going to go home and you're going to go to the police with these results, right? Yes. Okay. I'd like to know what you're going to do. And, and I don't, I'm not trying to put you on the spot because you just found this out. You've been believing in a man. You're engaged to him. He's the father of your child. Uh, it's got to be a tough thing. I, I, at the very least I would do is I wouldn't let him alone around the children. At the very least, right? Yeah. You're done. Um, and you, uh, if you did this, which I, I think there's a good possibility you did, you took advantage of a child that's disabled, and you are a sick bastard, and you can get the hell off my stage. Yeah. Yeah. You can go on with your life and you can be done with him yeah. um, because you don't have any children with him. You, unfortunately, are going to have to deal with this. You might have to deal with it with him being in prison because she's going to take legal action against him. Um, um, I, I do feel sorry for you. I, I really do. This, is, uh, this has got to be a tough thing to hear about somebody you love, but you are going to have to go home uh, just, just like you said, you do anything to protect your children, and you said the same thing. And you have to mean it, and you have to do it, and whatever you're gonna do, like I said, don't leave him around alone until this police investigation's over. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. I called you, Steve, for help, because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.